welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, obviously by the title, is going to be a Sarah's Stories. And I, a couple things just to get out of the way here. I literally just woke up a couple minutes ago. I'm not wearing any makeup or eyebrows or anything like that. Kind of wanted to come on here and give you guys a little update on my mental health. Uh, because I think at this point now I've done two videos. I kind of wanted to give you guys a little update on my mental health. Um, I'm all good. I'm okay. But... Sometimes, actually, in like the last couple, like the last, well, it's, uh, yeah, like maybe June, I become a little bit more like anxious and I'm starting to like care more of what people think and as we all know these videos kind of just go all over the place so bear with me. I'm gonna try not to cry because crying has kind of been um I can't cry so we're just gonna jump right into it. Um I kind of felt sad for a little bit for like a couple of days and honestly like I just felt like I needed to cry but like I was happy I'm like good you know but I just felt like I needed to cry and it was like really draining. It's like exhausting to me and I couldn't cry and I like reach out to people and everything which thank God I have like that kind of support system that I can reach out to like friends and family and all that but I just felt really sad and I've been watching a couple mental health videos, uh, Jasmine Garcia and somebody else just recently I was watching one and I can relate so much and especially the Jasmine Garcia one she was talking about like OCD and like number OCD and like I forget what the word was that she used but it's like when you're thinking these like really like crazy unexplainable thoughts um about like I forget what she what she worded it as but when you're getting these thoughts and you can't shake them and sometimes it gets a little bit like not scary but you just feel really alone and <laughs> I don't want to start to cry, but like I feel like I was, like I'm not going back, you know, like in my first mental health video you would have seen I was crying and everything like that because I did, I felt really alone and now that that video is probably like two years old now, now that that video is a little bit older, um, I'm in a completely different mind mindset than I was in that one. Like like I said, I'm way happier now. Um, I'm becoming like the person that I want to be. And I feel like I was changing for people back then. And now I'm kind of just like, take it or leave it. Like, I do not care, you know. But maybe that's not the right attitude to have. But at the same time, like, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, take it or leave it. <laughs> but kind of going back to like the OCD thing. My OCD really has been flaring up and... I don't know, like, I really don't know what triggers my OCD, um, I think sometimes when I'm sad I just get OCD, but, like, number OCD is, like, it's a thing. I know I talked about this probably in my last video, but it is a thing. It's when you're feeling like you just need to count, I guess, to make yourself feel better, and it's something else, let me tell you. But, um, yeah, I just, I count. <laughs> it sounds really crazy saying it, like, yes, I count when I'm anxious but like it's something that help it's really weird and I'm not sure and like maybe I should see a therapist but like right now I think I'm not at that point and I'm good but yeah I've been having a lot of like OCD flare-ups and like anxious flare-ups and I've had a lot of like feelings of that panic attack and it's like it's been so long since I've had a panic attack and like I don't want to have panic attacks because like they're not fun and I promise you I'm not gonna cry like because I'm happy I'm happy trust me it's just really exhausting <laughs> when you have like this thought in your head like yeah you know what I'm gonna have a panic attack but I've got to the point before like I've said um I've got to the point where I can kind of like control them I can control my panic attacks not like control them but kind of make them subside and be like, you know what, you're okay, you're just going through something, it will work itself out. And I normally listen to music or like I'll text someone, I always text like the same person for that, I always text Johnny, I'm like, hey, like I'm having a panic attack, like I need help, like I just need someone just to like listen and then like I'm good, but I don't know, I just, panic attacks have been really like coming back and like that anxiousy feeling and I go to the gym pretty much like five days a week, sometimes like six, uh, before I used to not care, uh, like I used to not like look around and like care what people think, but recently I kind of have been going back down that path and I work so hard to not care at the gym that I know I'll just, you know, put the headphones in and just kind of ignore everything, so I gotta get back to that. I don't know, I just kind of want to give you guys an update because I feel like talking about mental health is really important and 
not a lot of people do. Like, obviously YouTubers talk about it, which is cool, because it, like, gets it out there on a larger platform, but people really keep things bottled up, and I don't think that's necessarily, like, a good thing, because I used to be that kind of gal. I would keep everything bottled up, and one thing would just break the camel's back. Like, you put one thing on it, and it's just done. It's just done, and I kind of, like, explode, and then it's, like, a downward spiral, but I've learned to kind of just, like, talk things out more, and, um... Yeah, just kind of talk things out more because that's really, I, that's like kind of therapy to me. Just talking, venting it out, kind of like this kind of, I don't know what kind of hand movement this was. Kind of just like letting it all out, but uh, I did watch Kathleen Light's video, which I'll link it down below. She talked about her mental health a couple weeks back or like a month back. And she was talking about catastrophic thinking, which it's like, from my understanding of what she explained it, is when you're thinking about one thing, like say you're going to a movie theater. And this is like events like this have happened and they're they're realistic in this kind of world. It's 2019. People are a little are we focused. People are a little crazy these days. And plus with media and social media, it's like amplified. So we are more aware of it. Anyways, so by kind of like being aware of that kind of stuff, like I if I go to a movie theater, like my head does not stop thinking that somebody will come in here and honest to god like shoot up the place because that has happened and that is terrifying and that's like a thought that kind of goes like sometimes I do not like to go in public like ca food cafeterias absolutely not you will never find me in a food cafeteria because it's just too wide and open or like overly populated places like I get real anxious because I just think of all these bad things that can happen and it really bogs you down and makes you not want to go out in public and do things which years ago I would never go alone anywhere but now I I pretty much go alone anywhere I go um depends but yeah like I just get these catastrophic thoughts as she was discussing in her video and it really bogs you down like it is exhausting and I'm not trying to like make light of the situation because I'm someone who deals with anxiety OCD and like maybe a slight depression and like being sad but like I'm not trying to like knock anything down because it's all real stuff and it's really terrifying to have like thoughts like that not like terrifying thoughts but like it's terrifying to think that like that stuff could happen and that's what's stopping me from going out and living my life to my fullest for the longest time I never wanted to travel because I was terrified of dying in an airplane and I was terrified of getting like, I don't know, anything could happen when you go away, anything could happen here. And terrified, I would never go. And then I started to travel more and I was like, you know what, as long as you're smart and safe about anything, like you're good, but a lot of things are out of your control and like that's okay, I guess. Like I have to tell myself like it's okay it's okay to go outside, it's okay to go to the mall, it's okay to go to the movies, it's okay to go to a concert. Because for the longest time there, there's a string of events that were absolutely terrifying. Like, I'd say those things stop me from doing a lot of things, but they do. And it's part of my anxiety, and I just... I'd rather not put myself in dangerous situations, and... I think that's what's really, like, making me not live my life to the fullest. And... I really got to... I really got to get out of that mindset and just live my life to the fullest because honestly my anxiety stops me from doing a lot of things and at this point I feel like I'm just rambling on and on but it's just I really need to get some of my thoughts out and I normally journal like a mad woman but I haven't been doing that in a while. I'm just kind of really thankful that I have an outlet like YouTube that I can just sit here and talk and Hopefully a couple people can relate to this because I can relate to a lot of the videos like Kathleen Lights and Jasmine Garcia, the videos that they put out recently about mental health. And it's so relatable and I feel like opening up and talking about mental health, which I will leave my other videos that I did down below because those kind of go more in depth about everything. This one's kind of just like a, I don't know, a rambly one, but... Yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you for watching, and if you honestly have any, like, tips to deal with, like, OCD or anything like that, just, um, comment them down below, and let me know if you can relate to anything like OCD and, like, counting, or, like, if you have OCD, what kind of things do you do to kind of chill it, like, chill it out a bit, because sometimes I need that other than music, but... Yeah, so um, I just wanted to come on here and discuss mental health, like I said, because it's important to open up and I think it's important for me to like talk about it because for the longest time I never would talk about mental health because I thought it was weird and there's something wrong with me, but there isn't, there's nothing wrong with you. We're just going through some stuff and 
it's life. So, um, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you deal with anything mental health related because I'm always here to talk and I'm always here to listen. And subscribe if you haven't already. Join my little weird internet family here on YouTube. And yeah, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.